Uh, Dragger. Howdy. Yeah, we got two things going at the same time. Okay, so there is something that um, I can help with that, which I just made a uh, small generator, which you can make in your uh, backpack. And the small generator um, takes organic, so it doesn't generate a lot of power, but I got that going, uh, providing to the base now. Sure does. Um, sure, if you want to make another one. And then you just need some organic on it. And yeah, look at that. Now I got some more more power cranking away. No, it's kind of good in a pinch. Um, just to speed some stuff up. Uh, there is the medium generator as well. But um, again, the uh, medium generator has its place, but usually lean towards the solar and wind power options. Okay. And what did I make here? Oh yeah, the platform. And then we need the smelter. Um... Oh wait, that is in this one, okay. There it is. Uh, resin and compound. Are we... Uh, we're... We're out of resin. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go grab some more... Uh, Yeah, if you want to start that other research. Yeah, they got some good sound effects. Uh, uh, all the plants and stuff. Oh, yeah. Is the area around? Just so uh, you don't have to like dig down on it. You can just kind of sweep across, and you'll grab a whole bunch of it all at once. What do you mean? No, I mean, you can flatten it if you want, but um, usually just do like a. Just hold down the mouse button and just do a sweep. Uh -huh. So, like, just, just do a sweep like that. And. Oh, that's not what I want. Smoking furnace.
Does it? Altar is almost complete. And Spaltar is complete. Okay. And we're gonna need some this aluminum for this. Turn you on. And so get a little bit of power. Uh oh! So we got the we got over a thousand byte. So let's uh unlock the tractor. And then we're gonna need. We're gonna need four aluminum altogether because we need uh, two a piece, and we're both gonna want one. So we can drive around in style. So the tractor doesn't require a separate um, piece for the seat, kind of like an all in one little thing. Once you can get to the buggy and above, you need a separate, uh, you need the rover seat for it, but um, the tractor is kind of a, uh, an all-in-one little thing. Um, so that will at least allow us to start scouting the area a bit. Because we can, um, you can't tether off of the tractor, but you can, um, um, It'll provide oxygen for you as long as you're standing next to it. So you can tether directly to the tractor. Okay, what is this? Is this played in the medium one? No, it's not. It's not the large one. Um, this is the small one. Yep, it's the little one. Yep, just a tiny little track there. Cute. Things are... Things are adorable. And... Oh yeah, just on me though. Um, we're gonna need... Right, um... Oh, that needs, uh... Okay, that's not too bad. That just needs glass. That, right, now we need copper. Okay. So, the, um... Just down to me, though. We are going to need power... Tractor. Um, can I not power it up that way? I could have sworn. Do I get to the other, the other way? Yeah, there we go. Direction matters. Okay, so, he's plugged in, he's got power, he's not going to last very long without uh, some sort of power source. So we're going to need, um, uh, usually what I like to go with is a small turbine. We're going to have to, unfortunately we're going to have to unlock that as well. So we're going to need some more research, and we're going to need glass for that, so we're going to need um, quartz. But I did see quartz down in the cave. Um, and if we go back down to the cave, we should have some more of those little research nodules that I can show you, so we can gank up on some more research 
point. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, and silly me, go all the way down here, uh, I, 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 no, I don't have any tethers, and I don't have any compound, so I managed to grab some, uh, some of the compound we have at the base. Thankfully, we've got, uh, plenty of compound at the base, so, so I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna grab a couple of these, and make up a couple of tether bundles. Usually like to have... Uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to, yeah, there should be some aluminum there, um, next to the smelter. You need two pieces of aluminum, uh, if you want to make yourself, uh, a tractor. I'm gonna go grab some quartz. Oh, wow, that, okay, that was fun, I was, I, I was able to slide all the way to the court. Oh, here we go. Here's one of these uh, little research things. So, and the ones down here give uh, quite a bit. Um, and on the different planets, the cave side ones, like this one gives 48. Yeah. Um, and like if you go to like one of the higher level um, planets, they can you can start getting like hundreds at a time just from that. But in fairness, like some of the lit tier stuff starts costing like 10,000 and 15,000 um, bytes, so it, it, it quartz. Um, but let's see, what else we got sneakily back here? Anything? Uh, just doing a quick run. There's more quartz, more laterite, some compound, um, some, yeah, a lot of quartz back here. And ooh, another another research nodule. Running back for some air. All right, so I have like a backpack full of quartz, which would be fine. Yeah. What we need right now. Um, and we still need five hundred. How are we doing? We got okay, cool. So we can do the small wind turbine. So I unlock. That you can make right on your backpack. Mm -hmm. And see, these ones should have reset back here, and they did. So, because these little research samples down in the cave yeah. um, respawn. Oh, okay. So, it, it can be handy to, like, remember where they are, so then you can kind of come back and do, like, a, a run around and just grab a whole bunch of them um, and gank up your your bites again. Yeah. So yeah, there's one right here. And Okay, and then see so we have the tractor. 
Oh yeah, the other big thing was we wanted the uh, trailers, but we don't really need that uh, right away because now that we have the tractors and we have the uh, wind turbines, we can at least start doing um, some exploration. And Uh, to the tractor. Uh, um, so let's see. Let me. Here's some quartz for you if you want to make a. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I've got to want a glass, not quartz directly. So, uh, because it is handy to have some quartz lying around to make um beacons, because uh. Because beacons are made directly with quartz, it's not glass. Um, so, I don't know. Shoving stuff all over the place right now. Um, hmm, right, yeah. Yeah. Well, you well you seem to remember more from your playthrough back when than I did. Um, so, because you're like, oh yeah, this is different. I'm just like, because I don't remember anything. Yeah, and that's why. Yeah, and that's when I checked out too. Because I think we confirmed it was kind of around the same time last time you and I checked out this game and it was um but yeah you definitely remember more from from back then than I do. Oh that's fine. So the small little turbines, what's cool about those is you can actually um, attach them to, to the base because they have their own like little tiny platform and power plug. But, um, but, so you can see like I, like I put mine like right on the front of the, of the tractor and that'll uh, keep it, keep it powered. So, I mean obviously wind is not guaranteed so we can still like run out of power and then have to wait for <laughs> like wait for some wind to show up but um but we are charged up um so there was a um it was back over this way there was um there was the giant uh, uh like satellite solar panel that i wanted to check out because usually there's some other stuff too. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff over here. Um, see if there's anything good. Um, ooh! There's, um, there's a research thing. Now this one you don't want to hold F to scan, you can but um, and even those other ones, you can technically put on the um, platform and you'll get more out of it. It's just the other ones, it's just easier to hit F on. This one, I'll take with us. That we'll put on the uh, research. Um, put it in the research chamber. Now, oh, 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 I spy with my little eye. Is this... No, that's just part of that. So this is actually a functional... Um, Array. See, there's a, a plug on it. So this is actually a functional array. Now it's not in a great place because um, our base is way over there. But ooh, this is good though. Look at this. We got some uh, medium medium wind turbines. 
and then we got some extenders. Extenders are for extending power, but I don't know. I don't. I don't generally find them all that useful. But yeah, we got two medium wind turbines here. It's actually really handy. <clears throat> so these, um, grab one, and I always enjoy this. This is fun. I need oxygen too. Um, try and get back to my vehicle before I die. Okay, so. I'm going to take off the little one off the front, and I'm going to, and I'm going to take the little one, uh, put it on my backpack, and put the big one right in front. Whee! <laughs> so, so. Now I look, now I look like a, hmm, it's one of them things, it's like a mixing machine, one of them old, old Oh, yeah, like a, um. Yeah, yeah, we're like we're like food processors now. Yeah. Um, and I'm just digging this out a little bit just to see if there's anything else hidden, because because these ones I'm actually not too too familiar with. These um, like this broken panel here. I don't know if there's anything else that's like a bad um, that's like underneath, because sometimes engines that have materials and stuff attached to them that can be useful. I don't know if this. No, this thing doesn't seem to have. Oh. I'm good. Um. Yeah, I guess that doesn't seem to have anything. Um, okay, well, that was some... So these were a couple of awesome finds right there, uh, um, getting those. And we got that little research pack that we'll have to bring back. Um, and... Let me just do another perusal here, because I was excited about those other things. I didn't really pay attention if there was anything else. No. No, I guess these are... No, I guess that's about it. So these later on we will be able to um, break down for a scrap. Yeah. And the scrap uh, basically I guess you can kind of consider it like a, a currency because later on we'll be able to um, turn the scrap in for materials. So we could turn like scrap into iron and titanium and all sorts of stuff. Okay. So then we got plants like this. This has uh, research hemp on it. I'm just going to grab it while I'm here. And then we also have these guys over here. So these are um, Exodynamics Research Aid, Field Research Unit. Um, and these require different things in order to unlock them to get the research module inside. So this one, when you hover over it, it says um, maintain desired power input to unlock. So at, so what you need to do is you'd actually have to plug something in to sustain a, a given power level uh, in order for it to unlock. These will kind of ignore. There's another one that um, instead of maintaining a certain power, you need to refill the power. Those actually are quite handy because you can use um, a basic little generator yeah. um, to just refill them to unlock. Um, so those, so those can be pretty. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is when you're out exploring, always keep an eye on your beacon for your home, because yeah. if you're going out past that, you're you're liable to get lost. So let's see. Uh, we got what do we got for platforms here? We got um, not for a double. No, the main shelter only has a uh, has some single single things on it. Uh, oh yeah, let me put this research on. It'll let me. 
And yeah, so the tiny little research thing that I just got is, is worth uh, 1,050 bytes. So yeah, that's why those are like, ooh, yay. <laughs> I don't know, where are you? Are you over there? Um, I don't know. I mean, when you turn around, you kind of bonked into something. Bonk. Um, but outside of that, no. Alright, so I'll put this here. We're going to need another plat, because we only have one of the, um... Couple of notes. So I got the one of the wind power things on there, and we're gonna need more resin, I guess, because just burn through the freaking resin. Um, oh, we can put uh, we can put yours right over here. We got a double slot right there. Cool. So that'll work. And yeah, look at that. We yeah, we got the wind come in, and now that's at full blast now. Now we're getting 292, oh, we were for a brief moment, yeah. getting 292 bytes per minute. We're back down to 146 bytes per minute. That's still damn good. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So those are basically for one slot item. So like you could take a, a tiny wait in turbine put it on there right um or a small solar or battery um small battery type of thing so so, so they do have their kind of purpose but you know it's um actually i'm gonna leave that there actually because we, we have the we have the glass so i'm gonna make another so Sweet. Well, if the wind picks up, then, um... Come on, wind! Let's sort of 690 to go on that. Oh, yep, here comes the wind. And now we're up to 292 bytes per minute. Um, usually the way I set this up... Um, and once we have the materials to do so, I usually have uh, two research chambers um, at some point. Um, I don't find more than two is all that useful because you can definitely at some point have more than two pieces of, th of research that like, you'd be like, oh yeah, let's research this all at once. But generally two, two at a go is usually a good number because um, then you've got two things researching at the same time um and you know you can still have research ready to go um but you're also not like completely chomping through your power with having like a whole bunch of them going that you know and in general like this more often than not i find that like you know i have two things that i want to research um Yeah. So, wait, is that yours? Is that mine? Uh, yeah, I never plugged mine in, so the yours has got to be the plugged in. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to put the small turbine on there. Um, okay. And I guess we can explore out somewhere else. Um, what do I get on my... Can can I get out of the vehicle? There we go. Yeah. Well, and that's exactly why I want to do some exploration, because you can get really lucky. Um, and usually early game, it's kind of all about finding stuff like that.
Yeah. 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 So we definitely want to find some more research, and we definitely want to find uh, see what else we can find and get lucky with um, on some of this stuff. Because um, I do see a research chamber over there, and I'm curious what it, uh, what it'll take to to get that going. Um, we also uh, we also need a lot more resin because we need platforms and more storage. Um, oh, this is uh, one of the refill ones I was talking about. Yeah. Um, and if I had brought a small generator. But, like, uh, these little guys are handy because, like, this you can actually plop down separately and it's got its own plug, so you can, like, plug it in. So, and we could uh, actually even use yours as well because we can take this, plug it into there, and double them up, and you can see it just needs to refill its internal battery. Boom! So, and then inside is the... Um, is that piece so you can just put it in your backpack and research that those are that should be worth more i think that's worth like 1200 maybe so that'll be good No, every time you do that, I, I see a pop-up game save. So, like, when you were popping into the shelter, yeah. it would say it would say save game on my end as well. Okay, so that, that was a little bit a little research node. Uh, got a research item up there, but no easy way to bring it back quite yet. Some more research samples, um, and ooh, ooh, this is good. Um, over here, I'm not going very far. Um, over this hill, we have a new resource. This is Malachite. Copper. Okay. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this stuff. Research. Uh, well, yeah, cause, right, because we had a big one, uh, like those stone ones. Um, like, once we get the trailers, the trailers will give us some um, double spots that we can kind of pick some of that stuff up with. So. So, and the copper is actually good because, um, well, for a lot of different things, but... Uh, we'll actually be able to, uh, we can unlock the small, and we need the copper for the small solar rooms.
good? Okay, I got... Oh, come on, just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I got a backpack full of, uh, of cop. Yeah. Of malachite. So, and there's some more, and there's some more malachite over, uh, like green, green and brown tendril thingies. Yeah. So, so that's good. I mean, we know, uh, so we're also going to want, um, another thing we keep an eye out for is, uh, graphic. Graphite. Um, right next to you. Uh, oh, there's another platform over here. It looks like a medium, yeah, functional medium salt. Sweet. It's even better. Medium solar. No. So, um, given the fact that it's nighttime, I don't know if I'll make it back to the base with this, but whatever. No. Um, oh, um, well, let's see, hold on. There's another, there's another thing directly behind me. That I want to check out, so I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this back for a moment. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, and where did my? There it is. Put it here. Um. So, yeah, because you can't tether them that way, so they yeah. they won't accept the connection. So, but hold on. Um, I'm just gonna run over here because there's another platform over here. I just want to see if there's anything else that's any good. Um, I take it well, there's a, there's a um, small small thing. Uh, what's it called? Wind power? Turbine? turbine? Yeah, small turbine. Um, well, I mean, I'll take it. It's not bad. Uh, what am I stuck on? Oh, there we go. It's a whole bunch of resin out here. Mm -hmm. you, need to, you need to remember that this is out here. Which direction is this in from the base? This is west from the base. Okay. So if you mouse over yourself without the gun out, it'll there's a little compass. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So to our west. Oh, and it's daytime. That's good. So, um, are you snag the uh, thing? Okay. Yeah, yeah you can't run over that stuff, unfortunately. Well, for now, I'll take this off and just stuff it there. Um, Is that, uh, yeah, if you want to throw that, throw your research that you got on there. And get some of this copper going, I guess. And we need, we need a, we need to do a resin run. We, we, we need a lot of resin, uh, cause we're gonna have to, we need a lot more platforms. Um, and we also want to make the, um, sword platforms. Cause we need like three resin for each one of these, like, medium platform, these wide platforms that we're using. And then, we also want to make is it yeah medium storage and that takes two resin so yeah need a lot of resin 
awful lot of resin. But we have a whole bunch of power now. So that's good. And how are we doing on... So we have uh, 1,800 bytes. Yeah, how much is that worth? Yeah, it's been going for a little bit, and um, it's already, it's still over a thousand bytes left on that thing. What was the total on it, did you notice? Okay. Yeah, I think it's like 1,200 or 1,300s for those ones. So yeah, those are totally worth it. Yeah. And... I'm just checking on yeah that's the tractor and the trailer the trailer we need aluminum and compound to make a trailer and yeah those are okay yeah cool uh, I'm gonna unlock the trailer because uh, we had over 2,000 bytes. Okay. And... Uh, oh, that's just aluminum and compound. So that's compound and Is it worth me to take scanning the ones on the plant or actually Yes. Okay. Yeah, if they're if they're on like little plants and nodule type of things, then just yeah, scan them in place. Because like I said, technically you can bring those things back and put them into the research chamber to get uh, a little bit more research out of them, but it's just, it, it's actually just, for those, it's just more effective to just scan them as you go. Sounds good. Okay. So I got a um, tractor. Where's my... I'm going to put my truck. There it is. So, well, let's say... No, I have a trailer. And a tractor. Okay. Where'd you go? Oh, you're way over there. Okay. Sucks. I'm over where the uh, where the resin was. Right. So 
So later on, uh, uh, we unlock the uh, soil centrifuge. And that allows us to take the uh, canisters of um, soil that we're gathering and turn it into resin, clay, and other things that we need. Okay. So I got a backpack of resin. No, it's a bit of what? Just a... I don't know, I just felt a bit more in the other games. Some more in the game. Yeah. Right. I, 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 I do agree with you. It's definitely an advantage there. But I did find uh, my recent single playthrough, I found far more enjoyable than I had in the past. Um... Mainly because there's a lot more things to explore and see and do. Okay, so we'll get back going. Let's start storing that stuff there. Sweet. We had this talk. Uh, well, roughly, I know where you are, so. Yeah, it's just I felt like so. I, was just, I was trying to get back to base, and I've just come across this research thing, like by accident. Mhm. Mm so, because you were over in. Hey, you were over in that direction from where the, um... Oh, I see you. Um, if you look, uh, do you see my icon? I'm, I'm coming towards you. So yeah, I have I have a I have a platform on it, so I don't have space for that. 
sell because I was going to do another resource run for. Um, you don't unless you want to carry it all the way back. I mean, there's plenty more of those, so I mean, you can just leave it there for now. I mean, we'll come back and and get it. I found another uh, medium. Um. Oh, nice. uh, no. <laughs> You're right. It happened. What happened? Thank you. Um, I uh, accidentally flipped my tractor. Yeah, you can hit F to unflip it. I haven't had that issue. It could be a multiplayer thing, I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, it could just be a... I mean, definitely a multiplayer thing. Um, sure. Yeah, if you want to head back to base. Wait, you got... Yeah. How... Uh, wh what do you mean? Yeah. So, and they're actually slower than, uh, buggies. So, yeah, I, I mean, I like it because yeah, it's not like, I mean, it's a good, it's a good speed. So, and later on, you get to go even faster. Yeah, I yeah, I printed that and left. Yeah, it's way more interesting now than uh, than it was. I, I really uh, I, and I do like the way the the research was changed. Yeah. And there's a lot more to work towards. Cuz that was kind of the I mean the last time I played it a long time ago, there just wasn't wasn't a lot to work towards to do. No, but now I mean I mean it was fun to explore, but it just didn't 
that enjoyment didn't last long. Yeah. Before I was like, well, now what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, which makes sense because yeah it's my game but you're joining it it's the same thing as like satisfactory basically yeah. hey I'm back where are you? I forgot to reload in ah as I was coming out the shelter the game decides to cause me to start running inside the inside the um what do you call it the shelter. Hmm. It glitched me into it. That's weird. Yeah. But some of that will get used to. <laughs> But at least I saved it. Is the game auto saving or is it all manual save? Um, I th think there might be somewhat of an auto save. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so I'm printing up some more uh, storages and platforms and stuff for us. That's fine. So I uh, made a large platform for our um, uh, power devices. Yeah. So we now have three medium win uh, medium wind turbines, medium. So we're definitely uh definitely looking better on the Okay. <clears throat> and sure, smelt those up. Get those going. And I suppose we can I can actually put those there now too. Okay. <laughs> so, is it having any issues with the loading, or is it just uh, taking time? Just taking time. So, I see your avatar. Okay, well, I'm, I'll stop doing a whole bunch of th things at the same time. Especially when the wind kicks in. 
Oh, there goes the wind. I jinxed it. A uh, small printer, and you need some aluminum and compound, I think. So I'll have to check. So, because I smelted up some more aluminum. Aluminium. Yeah, say it. That's fine. I don't care how you say it. I know. I know what you're talking about. So, you know, I mean, it's it's completely fair for you to say that because, well, where you're from, it's spelled differently. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't spell it that way, but yeah, I mean, that's... That's how we tend to spell Yeah. Why is it to rotate if you need to rotate? Uh, C and V. So you want to place your trailer... Um, put, yeah, place it behind, kind of lined up, uh, so that you can plug it in, because you can't move it. Once it's unpacked, okay. So the plug I take it is is on either side. Oh, okay. Because it's a train. Because you can uh, put up to four trailers on the tractor. Um. Uh, well, yeah, that's close enough. So, no, it should be fine. Just tether it. It'll auto-correct its position. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, you went west. Well, you went west, and then you went um, south. Uh, between two hills. So, and then between the two hills. Alright, what am I doing? Um, okay, I am moving some things around. I'm doing... So, we're going to put you there. So these guys go like this. Let's see if I can line this up. Yeah, I guess that looks good. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've just thought about it now looking at him. I totally forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I was just no, I was just looking at the plant where you get your bites off and it sort of reminded uh -huh. me of the yellow um, power crystals and oxygen crystals you used to get. Right. Blue, but... Right. Yeah. That's how far. 
Yeah, well, I, I do recall playing during that time. Uh, um, but yeah, like you remember, remember better than I do. So, because I, I did, I, I did spend some time with it, but but I clearly just don't seem to remember anything. So. back. I guess that is on the other one. Hmm. Right, and then resin. Resin and compound. Okay. That's weird. Oh, not a compound. What's weird? That's weird. Hmm. Okay, so I rearranged the platforms. So our um so I upgraded our little printer platform to the large platform. And set up another platform here. This is going to be uh, for our second research chamber, this empty one. Um, and then we'll curve around this way. So this is this is actually going to go this way for our pro kind of production line, because uh, we're going to have some other machines here for uh, producing. Because we've got the soil centrifuge and a bunch of other things. Um, so let's see, what do we have? So. Actually, next in line would be the soil center. Um, well, you wouldn't. It certainly wasn't a thing back in the day. So, the soil centrifuge is the thing I was talking about earlier, where you can take the canisters that were filling up and put that in there to make resin and compound and various other things. So, um,. Probably going to be a good idea to do that. That's 750 bytes. Do you want me to pull the trigger on that? Yeah. Um, and then we can make one of those uh, soil centrifuge. Um, no. Well, I need. Um, I need need compound for that, so I gotta go grab some compound. Do you want a compound run? Hmm. 
Yeah, I kind of like it too. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Well, they also added a um, like survival shelter. It's like a smaller version of the shelter because you because um, once you have the materials, you can actually build additional shelters. Uh, which is good if, I mean, if you want to do, like, uh, you know, bases on other, uh, planets and stuff, but, but, I mean, you don't really need a shelter. No. I mean, I, I don't see a lot of functional purpose to it. Um, I mean, later on when there's maybe, like, hazards in terms of, like, the weather and storms and stuff, I can see that, but, yeah. but right now it seems more just aesthetics than anything else. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that wasn't much compound, but should be enough compound for... What I'm thinking. I said if that makes a difference with two people. Maybe. So, I mean, well, there is enough to recreate, so probably. Uh, soil center view. Um, yeah, what's cool is um, later down the road, like once we have the bigger rovers and stuff, or actually be able to have like a rover train that has like full um like salvaging capability so we'll actually be able to drive around and start like scrapping all these things uh on like a mobile scrapper yeah. which is kind of cool so i was doing a little bit of that on my single players surprisingly Um, yeah, so you're, so that's how much is in your canister, so like the colored red is showing you kind of how much is, how much soil you have in your uh, canister. Yeah, your di yeah, your distance limit, yeah. Hey, look at this. Finally picking stuff up off the ground. Okay. Yet another plat. So I take it this one's ready for the soil. 
Yeah. Yeah, I put this little centrifuge there um, temporarily while I was getting this other platform set up. So, if I was put my canister in there, it would then. Yeah, so like if, um, if I take my can top, you'll see it uh, fills up the meter uh, halfway. So, one canister is basically half of that. So, if you hit F on the, the soil centrifuge, um, you'll see, uh, the different things you can make, like, you have the arrows to go through the different things, and, and it'll show how much of the material, and how much you'll be able to get out of it. So, like, if I want to make compound, with a full thing, I can make eight compound. Eight. Um, I can make eight resin, eight organic, I could make six clay, four quartz, two graphite, or one ammonium. Um, so ammonium uses a lot of soil. Yeah. So, but this is a good way of um, of of getting that because because basically you can just kind of come over here and fill it up. At some point, we'll unlock the medium canister, mm. and the medium canister doesn't go on you. Um, it can go on either like a vehicle or, um, like I had it, what I'd do is I'd have it like on the side and then I'd come over here and just put my canisters and fill that up. And then when I needed stuff, I could just kind of take it from that. So I had an extra storage of soil. Yeah. Um, because, uh, what some people do, um, is they'll set up a quarry. And by that, usually like a mount site, like this mount site over here would probably be good for that. Yeah. Uh, and what they do is they just have a whole bunch of canisters on them. And they just dig, fill up all their canisters, come back, and then either fill up like a medium thing or just dump it in here and make a whole bunch of stuff. You know, so then anytime you need like resin and compound and stuff like that, you just go to your quarry, grab a bunch of soil, <laughs> you know, just dig. Um, so then that way you don't need to specifically find resin and compound and stuff. Yeah. So, and usually it's a good idea to have like a entrance to the quarry so you like flatten out an area in front. So you'd have like Oh, I'm out of soil, obviously. Um, like, okay, now I got all the soil so I can do this. Yeah. And then you can just kind of start digging in, filling up your, your canister. So, because you can have a whole bunch of canisters on you at once, you're not limited to just the one can. Okay. Um, and then later on, once you have like modules for uh, um, for your um, train manipulator, you can get like a power and a wide mod um, add-ons and you to have a bigger ring so you're carving up more at a time and then power speeds it up yeah. so then you can just go in there to gouge stuff out really fast and get a whole bunch of soil uh very quickly so um oh yeah we need more uh, i haven't really shown you how these things work yet um yeah come on. Uh, medium storage. It's my it's a shame we can't build a little sign. 
Mm, yeah. So this is the medium storage. Yeah. Uh, these go on to the little two spots. And these are this is why I wanted these these platforms because it's got uh, the little two spots on the, on on either side. I, yeah, it took me. It took me a while before, because I I was watching some let's plays on on Astrium when I was doing my single player, and I saw that people had like things like this, and I was like, "Where are they getting that from?" Like I don't have one of those, and then I realized people were like flattening it out, and I was like, "How are they doing that?" And if I had just you know I don't know maybe moused over it and you know used my eyeballs, I would have figured it out. Um, because it says F to expand when you mouse over it. <laughs> so yeah, so you can have it either, you know, up or down. I like having them laid out like that because I can better see the materials. Whereas if you have it like this, yeah. you can't see the other side. Now you can rotate it like this, um, but then still you're kind of looking at either, yeah. you know, either side of it. Yeah. 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 This was perhaps back before they could expand them. Um, Pretty sure, yeah, because I don't remember that being a thing. Because I, I do remember those from from before, and I remember them with the rover. Yeah. Like you could, you know, plop, plop them onto the rover and stuff. But, mm. um, but I don't think you could expand them. Have you got your turbine still? It's turbine. Um. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, I got one. Um, I I brought back a uh, medium, and I forgot to put my small one back in the front of mine. So. Yeah, no, it was. Um, yeah, I remember, like I said, I remember when it used to be like foldable on the rovers, and you used to just make runs with it. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? We have to drill at all. I know I've seen the drill. Well, yeah, well, basically it'll be the same thing, except we'd use the, um, you know, the drill. Um, but same result. Um, because you can put the medium, um, soil canisters onto a, a vehicle. And then you can, like, fill those up using the drill i'm not crazy about the vehicle drills i've used them a little bit and just they're really awkward um but there is also the um the paver later on and the paver you can use to kind of like flatten out areas as well as like build ramps so it so you can use a vehicle to actually like build a ramp up down and around and it'll use a soil canister attached to the vehicle um, so, and I still haven't gotten around to actually playing around with that, because you need some rather late-game stuff for that. So just out of curiosity, what the hell do fireworks do? Or is that just a... They go up into the air and they, they explode and make pretty colors. That's, that's, that's about it. Oh, okay, so it's just a little mess around with the thing. Yeah. Same with the, uh, there's the camera as well, and the camera, again, is just kind of a little mess around thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, for instance, um, you, you had that research thing you wanted to bring back, right? And you couldn't put it on your backpack because it was too big. Well, if you had a packager... You could put the packager on it, package it up, and then put it on your backpack. Oh, okay. um, yeah, and that's why we need graphite. Yeah. 
because graphite, we need graphite to make the packagers. Yeah, as far as I know, it's just decorative. I haven't unlocked it, um, and it seems like it's just a decorative thing. Small trumpet hall. I'm guessing that yeah, you can put a whole. Yeah, you can put horns and stuff on, on your. I was gonna say the vehicles definitely need horns. Yep, they're there. You just can put it. the. Um, there's also the uh, floodlights. The floodlights are good, uh, both for the base as well as putting onto the front of a vehicle. Uh, RTG, that's the power generator that I was talking about at the beginning. Uh, yeah, for splitting power. Yeah, the silos, um, that's the one I was, uh, that I was talking about before, um, it takes up the same amount of space as the medium storage, but it's a silo and has a lot more slot. If you, and then in, but then in tier three, there's the large storage silo, and the large storage silo you can put on small storage silos onto it, so you can basically just go crazy with your storage. Yeah. And the small shredder doesn't really do much. Because yeah. uh, the problem is, is that the small, medium, and large shredder shreds different sized things, hmm. which makes sense. But the small one, you can kind of basically shred stuff you can put on your backpack. Hmm. So if you can't put it on your backpack, you can't shred. Um, so you need at least a medium shredder. Um, before you can really start doing much. So, and what is the... The medium... Uh, yeah, the medium shredder. Yeah, wants iron. So, and we're gonna have to leave the planet to get iron. Mm-hmm. So, like the winch, for example, that uh, um, that giant solar panel that we found, we could dig it out, put a winch on it, and drag it back to base. What, the big one? The operational one? Yeah. Okay. So, so, you can winch things uh, that are kind of too big. Um, huh. So, I, I, I mean, it, I haven't found a huge amount of reason for it, but eh. the rings were added as part of when they added the jetpack and a lot of their demos show like flying through the rings and stuff but they they are storage like you can put items on them but I don't I don't know it just seems like a weird addition What? Yep, definitely going to need that at some point. Yeah, that's how we get the um, gas. So, the chemistry lab is where you start kind of mixing some of the base materials with other materials as well as gases to make higher level things like the rubber, plastic, the nanocarbon alloy, which is the nanocarbon alloy, is like you, you need a lot of stuff. Trade platform. So the trade platform is what the scrap is for. So once you generate the scrap using the shredder, you can put it onto the trade platform, and then basically 
X amount of scrap will equal, you know, X amount of material. And then once you hit the button, a little rocket will fire off into the sky and then come back a minute or two later with the materials that you Mm -hmm. Recreation yeah. There's a lot of things to unlock. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we still have some, I mean, uh, we still get some more research and stuff and exploration to do here, but um, but now that we get some rovers and stuff, I think um, next thing's going to be working towards probably getting uh, a shuttle set up. So, because we're because um, on top of the shuttle, we also are going to need the the solid fuel thruster. Yeah. And the solid fuel thruster um, is basically good for a round trip. So, so you can go to your other planet, you can come back, and then the solid fuel thruster is toast, and you have to build another. Yeah. So, but you pretty much need to use that um, in order to get the materials you need um, to build the hydrazine thruster. And once you build the hydrazine thruster, that's a reusable thruster. <coughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. So, but we're still going to need a lot more materials of various things here. Um, and, yeah, but I think we're doing good. I mean, we got the, uh, we got the tractors, we got our soil centrifuge going, we got some organization on the base going. Well, I mean, you're doing good. I mean, you're doing good so far. Um, oh, sure. Well, we get a little bit of uh, um, compound you can snag off of the medium printer. So, but I'm glad we got the tractor so we could do some uh, exploration without tethering all over the place. Yeah, the turbines. Yeah. So, yeah, we got pretty lucky on on the finds out there. So, oh, yeah. and there, there's still plenty of other. Okay, because we pretty much went. 
east and west. Mm. Like, we haven't really gone north. No, we haven't gone north. We haven't gone south yet. Yeah. So, and I'm just taking a quick perusal to see if I see anything in the distance, which I don't really see much. But yeah, so we'll have to explore out there at some point. Um, so we get uh, plenty more to explore. And, um... I think so. And goodbye for me. So, until then, guys, see you again. See you.